throughout the city we're seeing developments that alter neighborhood character. The Ghent development behind me is an example. A hundred trees were cut down, one of the largest tree stands in Ward 2, replaced by about 60 saplings. Green space went from 70% of the lot to about 30%, replaced by asphalt. Eight single-family homes were torn down, 58 townhomes. Because the number of units was so high, the whole site had to be elevated five feet to hook into the city sewers. I'm here with Dave Myers, resident on Dyncourt, who backs on to the new Ghent development. Dave, tell me what this development has meant to you and what your thoughts are. Well, certainly we're not opposed to development. We said that at the very first meetings of City Council. Um, our opposition was always to the density of it, the size of it, the fact that it wouldn't fit necessarily with our neighborhood. Um, the setbacks have all been compromised. These people will be living almost in our backyards now. Uh, the elevation is significantly raised five to six feet from uh, what it is presently uh, to make sure that the drainage is proper and such for that new development. Um, but it'll be overpowering for this existing older neighborhood with lots of mature trees in that. And we just felt that something smaller would have been more appropriate. And we wish that had been approved as opposed to this very dense project. We could have met our goals for intensification with a development half this size while preserving green space and protecting neighborhood character. And Ghent's not a unique example. No neighborhood is exempt. I get calls from residents across the city concerned about the developments that are happening in their neighborhoods too. I'll work for developments that are environmentally sustainable, that protect trees and green space. And I'll continue to alert you to developments before applications are made to seek your input. I've successfully persuaded developers over the last four years to meet with residents before they submit applications. And that's led to change based on your input. I'll continue to do that. On October 27, I'm asking for more than your vote. I'm asking for you to continue to work with me to make a better Burlington by championing development that is sustainable and builds neighborhoods where people want to live.